To date, Generation Zero is four years old, and it's been one hell of an awesome four years. Today what we're going to do is look at the past four years and see what has happened through Generation Zero and the progress that we've made and the awesome community behind the game. Generation Zero first la launched into early access slash beta testing towards the end of 2018 and the start of 2019. Back then it was behind closed doors all the way up until we saw an absolutely awesome trailer, which is this one in the background. And then we launched on the 26th of March 2019, four years ago. That seems like it was forever ago. Ever since then, the game has been up and down. It has been a bit of a roller coaster with some brilliant updates alongside some pretty strange ones. But the game is still out there and doing exceptionally well. Reaching an average player base of between 800 and 1200 consistently just through Steam charts alone. So there's probably a hell of a lot more on consoles. Now, when the game launched back in 2019, it released to an average uh, publication score and a very positive player score. On average, the game was receiving 4 and 5 out of 10s, but to players, it was mostly positive, with around 80 to 90% version positive on the game. And since then, it has dropped a little to around about 80 to 70%, depending on what you look at. But it is still doing pretty good. Now this original trailer going on in the background is just beautiful and it still holds up to this day which is quite impressive. A lot of older game trailers I've had a look at don't really do the same or hit the same as they did when they first launched but considering this one is over four years old it still looks pretty good. Since the launch there has been over one million copies sold so that's that's a good amount. I can't find exact numbers, but the estimates are anywhere between 1.5 to 2.2 million copies sold since the launch across all platforms. Now, on average, there are 40 YouTube videos a day for Generation Zero. So that is a lot of content. I myself have released over 300 Generation Zero videos, which is also a hell of a lot of content over four years. Now. Speaking of content, there has been a hell of a lot of updates to Generation Zero. There has been 15 major updates alongside loads of other little ones. With those, there's also been a very strangely low number of hotfixes. Only 11, which is a bit odd. The hotfixes did roll out quite a lot towards the early start of the game. Uh, so late 2019, early 2020, and then they all but stopped up until the most recent one, which was for the Landfall update. Now with all the updates, we have seen an absolute mammoth amount of content added to the game. Updates were relatively consistent all the way through to 2021. In the middle of 2021, they did drop off quite a bit, but we were seeing updates monthly for the first year of the game's life cycle, which is absolutely awesome, and it's a shame we can't go back to those days. Now we're going to go on a little bit of a trip down memory lane and talk about some of the original updates that came with it. Back in November... 26th of 2019, we saw our first major update, which was the Alpine Unrest update. Now, the Alpine Unrest update, I'm pretty sure you all know what that is. That included Himfal and also the uh, the, the Beastie Green machines, which uh, they hurt. They hurt a lot. But those things were absolutely insane. And the Alpine Unrest update delivered us loads of new content, loads of new characters, and an awesome new location to play, which was absolutely amazing. The island itself was full of dangerous machines, awesome lore, and loads of mysteries. And that was followed up six months later by our June update, which was the Phoenix Rising DLC. So the first two major updates were DLCs, and then we didn't really see major DLC updates since then, which is quite a shame. But those two updates alone brought us a hell of a load of content, with the Phoenix Rising being one of the biggest content updates that we've ever seen. Well, content DLCs that we've ever seen, including loads and loads of new revamped areas to go through. The mission with Uncle Cal blowing up some Phoenix defenses. It was absolutely outstanding. But 2020 was a relatively quiet year for major updates. We didn't see another one all the way up until the Reaper was released in November of 2020. So there were six months between the major updates. There were quite a few smaller updates, including quality of life fixes, uh, some new additional weapons, and some area small revamps. But the major ones didn't keep coming all the way up until then. Then, unfortunately, we didn't really see much until February of 2022. We saw some smaller updates, but 2021 was a very bad year for Generation Zero, with lots of bugs, lots of players dropping out, and almost a very small amount of communication 
from the studio themselves. We did see the letters from the development team stopping towards the mid slash end of 2021, which was a massive disappointment. But we still got some minor updates and then our first major update in almost a year, which was the landfall update of February 2022. Now, the landfall update needs no introduction. We all know exactly what that one is. The landfall update brought with it the Russian machines and just the small ones, not the Firebirds, which came much later on. The landfall update brought with it a massive amount of content, loads of world revamps, obviously the two new Russian machines, loads of collectibles, and a few smaller missions. Only side missions, but they did provide a small amount of content. Now, 2022 was the biggest year for major updates that Generation Zero has seen. I'm hoping that 2023 will go the same way, but that is yet to be seen. With the next update being April the 22nd of 2022, and that was the base assault update. This one did definitely ruffle some feathers. With it being a base building update, a lot of players didn't actually want it, but it does seem to have grown within the community massively. With continuous revamps and loads of additional base building pieces being added throughout the year. And then it was a quiet few months with some very small updates but in the middle, just doing some small world revamps and some other little pieces. But our next major update didn't come all the way up until October of 2022. And that is the last update that we've seen that is a major one. Unfortunately, we haven't seen any birthday update, which is a massive shame because they could have capitalized on that absolutely tremendously. With the large amount of players and the influx that we've had over the past few months, the player base is currently sitting at way over 1,200 players, which is around about three to 400 more than the average player base. So they should have definitely capitalized on this market. But either way, opportunities missed um, could be something that they're working on much bigger that will bring in a hell of a lot more players. Now the Dark Skies update brought with it the Firebirds alongside vehicles. Now the mopeds... The standard moped was just a base game, but they did add an additional DLC, which introduced three new vehicles, which, pretty damn good, they are a load of fun, and they're definitely worth the money. There has been an absolutely mammoth amount of DLC content added, in the form of new weapons, mainly, and some things with the base assaults, alongside some vanity items. But... They still haven't changed the landscape of the game, which is great for a paid DLC. There is no pay to win. They are just something fun that players can own if they want to help out the team, or just simply expand their arsenal. With all of those major updates, Generation Zero has always shaped up to be an absolutely brilliant game, and hopefully the future is well. But we don't really know what's going to be happening. We are waiting still on a roadmap. I was hoping that we'd see that before I released this video so we could add it into the video. But either way, uh, hopefully this roadmap does include a massive amount of things to come in 2023. But we'll have to see. I've said but about 500 times. But, 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 but. Um, there's going to be an insane year or a very dead year for Generation Zero in 2023. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. A massive happy birthday to Generation Zero. A massive thank you to the development team behind it. And also a massive thank you to the community that support the game. And also support my channel. Because I greatly appreciate you all. I know the Generation Zero content has been lacking recently. But when we do see some substantial content. I will definitely be jumping back in. And creating content on the game. For now I've been Wired. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a like on the video. And if you want to support us a little bit further. Consider becoming a member.